Netflix. So give us your thought about Netflix. Okay, Net Netflix. Ito po ang napapanood sa TV. TV na bagong, bagong TV na napapalabas na pwedeng kahit anong panoorin. Kung anong gusto mong panoorin. Na kahit... Hmm. Okay na. Thank you so much, Karinate No. 1. So, ang nabunod dyan is Netflix. Netflix. Thank you so much, Candidate No. 1. Now, let us call on Candidate No. 2. Miss Elona Garcia. Thank you, Pag-a-Dever. 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 <laughs> coffee. Okay, the picture that I pick is coffee o kape. Ano nga ba ang naiisip ko kapag nakikita ko ang larawan o isang bagay katulad ng kape? Para sa akin, ang kape ay ang tumutulong sa atin upang simulan ang magandang araw ng ating buhay. Dahil ang kape na to ay ang iniinom natin upang harapin natin ang hagon ng buhay. Hindi lamang tayo gising na gising, ngunit laban na laban tayo sa kahit anong tatahaki natin magmula nang magsimula ang araw natin pag gising natin sa isang umaga. At ay, gusto ko lamang i-share sa lahat na ang kape ay gusto ko lang pagpasalamatan ang kape dahil ang mga magsasaka natin dito sa Pilipinas ay isa sa mga tao na nag-aangkat o nag-aani ng kape. Kaya kung tatakinig din natin ang asariling atin, ang mga kape ng mga Pilipinas ay hindi lamang natin matutulungan ang pang-araw-araw nating buhay. Ngunit matutulungan din natin ang ating mga mamamayan, ang ating mga magsasakang Pilipino. Dahil para sa akin, tayo-tayo rin naman na magtutulungan sa huli. Dahil sa kape na yan, magsisimula ang araw nating makabuluhan at matatapos na may ngiti sa labi. Yun lamang po. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much, candidate number two, Miss Jane Deleon. Thank you so much, candidate number two. Now let us call on candidate number three, Miss Rupa Gutierrez. Kaya isa sa mga pina kapag nagdaring kandidata. Oo, inulit yata talaga yung makeup niya kala niyo ha. So, I am pick a picture of a gun. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is what do we call it? a weapon can kill somebody if cannot be hold safely. So I believe that gun can shoot or can take lives. Let us not put this in the hands of somebody who is not sure where or who to put or shut the gun. Ladies and gentlemen, let us always remember that through life, we are all created through basic. We are all created with love. Nobody has a right to kill. Nobody has a right to use a gun. If we could just use our pen, just like Jose Rizal, to fight for everything in this life, then let this be done. I believe that a gun is made because of a wise man, just like an inventor. But let us always do and remember that in everything that is invented in this world, let us not only think once, but let's think a million times on how to use it because who knows, that might done can take one's life who is an innocent person. So let us just love, love, and not use gun, but use our heart and use our love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Karine. Thank you so much, Karine. What a nice answer. Congratulations. What a nice answer. So then now, next in line is candidate number four. Heart, heart, evangelista. One of the previous candidate. Actually, lahat. <laughs> Actually, lahat ang maganda. Totoo. So, you pick one. Barangay Hall. Yan. Ang picture na nag, uh, nabunat ni Miss Heart, heart, evangelista. heart evangelista ay Barangay Hall. I mean, I'm asking this. Okay. Thank you so much for that very nice picture that I picked. 
the picture that I pick is actually a structure of a barangay hall. Let's say, for example, this barangay, barangay 148, is a perfect example of knowing what diversity is all about. Thank you for letting us be in here on stage tonight and for letting us grace the stage. Because of that, you are letting us prove, each and every one, everyone in this community, that we are worthy people, that we could continue afflicting the LGBT community. Kaya nananawagan po ako sa lahat ng kabaklaan ngayong gabi, ipakita natin sa komunidad na tayo ay nagre-respetuhan bilang mga bakla. Because if we will respect each other, if we will show them that we are intact, then definitely we will gain respect not just in Barangay 1 for 8 but for the rest of the barangays in the whole world. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. number 4, Miss Mark Evangelista. Ang ganda rin ang kanyang answer. Now, let us call on candidate number 5, Miss Nadine Lucerne. Ang ganda-ganda rin ito. Okay, you pick one, Miss Nadine. Right. Ang napili niya ay vape. Vape. There is a there is an advantage and disadvantage of vape. The advantage of vape is to make you relax like other people. But the disadvantage is it can destroy life. Because you know what, ladies and gentlemen, health is wealth. Health is very important nowadays. It is a basic human rights. Because, ladies and gentlemen, our health is a spirit. Our health is a spirit. It's temple of a spiritual. It's a temple of a Holy Spirit. It is very important because no matter who you are, no matter what you did, no matter where you come from, you can always be a better version of yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Candidate number five, Miss Nadine. Miss Nadine Lustre. Thank you. Okay, now. Now let us call candidate number six. Kanilang number six, pick ka na po ng isa. She Ms. is the Maha Salvador. So, ang napili niya ay Make Up. Up. Thank you so much. Well, the photo or the picture that I pick is Make Up. Well, we all know that Make Up is the way for us to enhance our beauty, right? But one thing that I would, you know, focus on my answer is that we should not focus on the physical attribute of a person, but rather what if it will help us because of course the first impression is once you see that person. But one thing that is most important thing in this world is that you must able to realize that that person's heart or that inner beauty and that's the true meaning of makeup. Makeup is just nothing if your heart is really not for other people. Because we should always remember that whatever you put on your face, whatever you put on your body, if you don't have a good heart and good mind for other people that would help other people, well, you are nothing in this world. Because our purpose in life, thank you, well, our purpose in life is to inspire other people and to motivate them. And of course, that's why people, let's not focus on other of what we see outside but focus inside of that person because that is the true meaning of humanity. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number six. Miss Maha Salvador. Miss Maha Salvador. And I'm now, Maha. let us call our candidate number eight, Miss Janine Fogono. Candidate no, number, number seven. seven. Miss Janine Fogono. So, pick up one of So you, ang napili niya ay American flag. Ladies and gentlemen, panel board of judges, then definitely that American flag symbolizes to those American, we cannot deny the fact, because that symbolizes which is United States of America. But one thing is for sure for that flag is we need to respect them. Why? Like we human beings, like we Filipinos, we respect our flag. Therefore, we need also to respect their flags because we, if they respect, if we will respect their flags, then definitely they will also respect our flags. Then no more, no less. Thank you. Thank you so much. Candidate number seven. That actually that's correct, no? So, and last but not least, we call on candidate number eight, Miss Alec Bobby. So, you pick one for. <laughs> Hello. 
So, ano pili niya ay? Cellphone. Patingin. <laughs> Cellphone. Cellphone. Um, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to everyone to lend me all your ears with all humility. I was born 1975. My real age is 44. And the continuing power where I am joining this pageant is definitely, I believe, the communications tells and paves way to understand every people and unite us. Through cell phones, it is a gadget of the modern technology, but at this point of time, it could be useful and it could be harmful. The useful side is definitely it's easy for us to access and a lot of things that we can do rightly and click that certain gadget. But on the other hand, do you know that it is not good for our health if we will be intact for a long time that we will be using such things? And the number one problem that we are facing in the next 20 or 30 years in the future of our children, makinig mga bata, kapag kayo ay masyadong nakarilay, o nandun lang kayo sa paggamit ng mga cellphone, anong mangyayari sa inyo? Hindi nyo alam in the next time, you will have a lot of real problem because of the radiation. Aside from the radiation, there are things that way back in the 1975, and especially to all the parents, makinig po ang mga magulang, nais ko po, kaya ganito po ako sumagot sa mga patimpalak. Salamang po ang aking nais dahil gusto kong maiwan laging mga ganito. Na kailanman, tutunan natin pa din ang tama. Let's go back to basic. That is why maraming sakit na dumarating sa atin dahil hindi kailanman na igagalaw ang mga katawan ng bagong generasyon at ang mga tao ngayon. So I should say, in everything it is invent that is invented by man, we should be responsible. Because if you use it, of course, with all two things, that it's over. Everything that it's over would definitely be dangerous. Thank you.